Hey guys, welcome back to another guitar lesson. In this one, we're gonna check out how to play Can't Help Falling In Love With You, a fingerstyle arrangement for the song. So, um, thanks for all your response on my previous video. I saw the comments and some of them were asking for a fingerstyle version and I, and I thought I would arrange one quickly for this song. This is actually quite easy to play. So if you've learned that version of it, the chord version, this will be much easier because using, we're using the same chords and we're having a capo again on second fret and let's get right into it. So that's the little intro and then we start with the verse. All right, so we start on C major, go to G, go back to C. Okay, so to play C major, you need third fret on the fifth string, second fret on fourth string, open on third string, and first fret on second string. All right, so let's see. see. Now you're going to pick the fifth string, the fourth string, the third string. All right. Then you start going up over here. You got first string, second string, and third string. So you have. you like usually we use thumb for the upper strings then you have you've got third fret and third fret on the top string and second string you're going to pick top string first then you pick the fourth string third string second string third string fourth string all right so string number six four That's what you have on G. Start from the beginning, you get this. And now you're gonna go back to C major and you do this. So you're picking string number five, four, So once again, string number five, four, three, two, three, four, five. And that completes your little intro. And then you start with the verse. So. All right. Now let's see how to play the verse. Now, before we move to the verse, you need to remember that this is the main part of the song that these two lines which I'm about to play are the main you know the main part of the song so two lines that I played you know this is the first two lines of the verse you're going to repeat them one more time so that we don't have to learn it again you know you have learned that main part which I'm going to show you and I'm just going to repeat that one more time for the verse and then we go to the next part which will be the bridge you know, that bridge and then you again go into the verse which will be again the same part that we are about to learn so I'm going to repeat it again this part this part that we're about to learn is the main part of the song, so you wanna, you know, make sure that you get it completely because we're gonna play this over and over again in the song. All right, so you start with C major. We just do that, all right? So we're still on that C major chord. You're going to pick fifth string and second string together. And then you're going to pick third string and fourth string. So string number five and two pick together, then third string and fourth string, right? Then again, second string, third string, and fourth string. So you have, all right? 
Then you come to E minor. Now here we have second fret on fifth string and just third fret on third on the first string. All right. Here you're going to pick fifth string and first string together first. Then you're going to pick second string, third string, and then again second string, third string, fourth string. So once again. Now as you can see, I picked the strings quite loudly in the first beat. So you know when you get that note because you want to make sure you emphasize the melody of the song. So here you have you know that's the melody going. So whenever you're playing those melody notes, you want to pick a bit louder over there. So what have we what we've learned so far is this. Then Now you come to the next shape which is A minor. On A minor you do this. Once again. So for A minor chord you have 1st fret on 2nd string, 2nd fret and 2nd fret on 3rd and 4th strings. You're going to just do that. So you're going to pick 5th string and 2nd string together. Right, going to pick third string, fourth string, then string one, two, three. So, once again, then after that, so here you're picking fifth string, third string, second string, and first string, and that's all you have for A minor. So So, if you put that all together for the verse, from C to E minor to A minor, you get this. So, you see how I'm emphasizing on the melody by picking those notes a bit louder. Now, you go to the F chord and you do this. Right, so just learn that first F major once again. Now to play F, you need third fret on fifth string, third fret on fourth string, second fret on third string, first fret and first fret on first two strings. All right, so say so first pick third fret on second string by itself. You pick open on first string by itself, all right? You're going to pick first string and fifth string together. Pick second string, third string, all right? Then pick second string, third string, and fourth string. So, so on F you get. All right. Now let's play again from C to E minor to A minor to F and we're going to emphasize on the melody. Let's start. Alright, now you come back to C major and you do this. Alright, so back to C major, you know how to play this chord? Over here, right? C major. You're going to pick fifth string and first string together. Pick second string, third string, all right? And then, so here this time you're picking second string, third string, and fourth string. So, and now you're gonna go in the end to G and you do this. Once again, so here you have third fret and third fret on second string and top string. All right, you could just have that. 
you're going to pick second string and top string together pick third string fourth string right then you pick first string second string and third string so after that so here you're going to pick top string third string second string and first string and second string so all right so if you go from F to C to G you'll have this okay now we've learned the first line of that you know main part of the verse so let's play that all over again from C to E minor E minor to F C to G and notice the you know melody of the song so And now we're going to learn the second line of the song, which goes like this. Now, before I go there, you know, don't fret too much about picking the right exact string. You know, you can actually improvise and pick whatever strings you like because you're on the right chord. So as long you're on the as long as you're on the right chord and you make sure that you get that melody note, especially, you know. You know that those melody notes, as long as you're getting those. You can pick pretty much anything, right? So just to give you an idea. All right, now the second line of the verse, this main part, it will go like this. All right, so now you start with F over here and you do this. One skin. So to play this particular version of F, you know, you just need first fret on top string, third fret and third fret on fifth and fourth string, and open and sorry, second fret on the third string over here. Alright, so first fret, third fret, third fret, and second fret. Alright, so you can play it this way or this way. You first start by picking open on third string. After that, so here you're picking sixth string and fourth and third string together. Pick fourth string, fifth string, all right? Then pick third string, fourth string, and fifth string. So, all right? Then you come to G and you do this. So here you just need top fret, top string, third fret. You're going to pick, oh, sorry, you're going to pick sixth string and sixth string together. Pick third string, fourth string, then pick second string, third string, fourth string. So let's start from F. Go to G. If you want you can play the bass note one more time so you can go you can be like and again pick that bass note and second string together and you can do the same thing on F as well and G now you come to A minor and just do that right so you know how to play that A minor chord we've learned it before let me show you the picking over here. You're going to pick fifth string and second string together. You're going to pick third string, fourth string, all right? Then you pick first string, second string, and third string. So, let's start from F. Go to G, go to A minor. Then you come to F for a little bit. And that's the only thing that you're doing on F. Alright, so you're going to pick third fret 
on second string, open on first string, and first fret on the first string. So, alright, so let's take it from F. Go to G, go to A minor, and then go to F. That's all we have on F. Then you come back to C major. So here you pick 5th string and 1st string together. Pick 2nd string, 3rd string, alright? Then pick 2nd string, 3rd string and 4th string. So, alright, so from F. Then you come to G. So here, third fret, third fret on top string and second string. Going to pick top string and second string together. Going to pick third string, fourth string. All right. And then once again, so here you pick second string, third string, and fourth string. All right. So, so let's start from F again. This little part over here. C, G, go back to C. So here you're picking 5th string and 2nd string together, 3rd string, 4th string, alright, then again 2nd string, 3rd string, 4th string, alright. So, and now we've learned that main part of this arrangement. So let's review this part, the second line especially of, uh, you know, this part. Let's start from F to G to A minor, then F, C to G. Goes like this. G, A minor. play the whole the first line and second line everything together the main part of this song arrangement All right so repeat this entire thing one more time for the next two lines of the verse. So let's do that. part of the arrangement this is now the second you know major part of this arrangement the bridge and after that things are really simple because they're all connected all right so you start it goes like this said that was you know repeating again and again in this arrangement all right so this bridge you start with E minor chord and B7 chord all right so E minor and B7 on E minor you just need second fret and second fret on fifth and fourth strings you're first going to pick top string all right and fourth string together all right pick that pick those strings together top string and fourth string together Open on third string, alright? 
Then you pick third fret on third string and open on second string. So once again. Now you come to B7 chord. You do that. So on B7 chord you need second fret on fifth string, first fret on fourth string, and second fret on the third string. Alright, so now on this B7 you do so you're going to pick fifth string and third string together. Then you pick fourth string and third string, alright? Then you pick string second string, third string, and fourth string again. So you have all in all. Sorry, once again. Alright, once again. So if you put E minor and B7 together, you'll get this. Alright, and you have to repeat this three times. So when you, be, when you do this part three times, you'll get this. times now you go to a minor and you do this once again so a minor you know how to play this chord um you're going to pick second fret second fret and first fret you have on a minor all right over here and you pick fifth string and second string together and you just pick second string all right Pick string five, four, three, two. So first, fifth, and second strings together. Second string by itself, and then five, four, three, two. Right? And then you do this. You come to D minor, and you do this. So you pick open on first string, third fret on first string. Open again on first string. Then you come to D minor chord. Your first fret on first string, third fret on second string, second fret on third string. Here you pick fourth string and first string together. Pick second string, third string. Then pick first string, second string, third string. All right, so. go to G and you do this. So you've got third fret on top string, second string and first string. You're first going to pick top string and first string together. Pick second string, third string. Then again top string and first string together. So or just you know that first string. So Let's play everything from the starting to the end for the second part of the arrangement. E minor to B7 three times. One, two, three, E minor, D minor, G. Now after this, if you follow the arrangement, the demo that I played in the very beginning of the video, I come over here. So we just learned that first, we'll just learn that first. You got C to E minor, A minor to F. So you're picking the bass note and the melody notes very easy. You're gonna pick third fret on fifth string and first fret on the second string together. On E minor, you'll pick second fret on fifth string, third fret on first string together. On A minor, open on fifth string, first fret on second string. On F, you do first third fret on second string, open on first string, then first and first on top and bottom string 
all right then after that let me go back to C here you have the melody is open on top string on first string sorry and third fill on fifth string in G third and third on second and top string right together then after that what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back to that second line of the verse which we learned but before that you're gonna do that you're gonna do this right so it's still on G so you're going to pick fourth string third string second string then first string and second string right then after that you're going to go to that second part second line of the verse that we learned before so I don't have to show it to you again let's play that remember this G A minor to C. So on C you go, you know, after this you end it over there in the verse, but here you're going to go, you're going to go again down. So fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string, and third string again. So after this repeat that second line of the verse once again. F to G, F, G, A minor, F, C, G, that will be the end of the arrangement, but I did a little variation when I played the demo, in the very end I did this. So the change is only in the very end. After F, when you come back to C, G, and C, there's the change. So here you do this. So first you're on C major, you do. All right, so you're picking fifth string and first string together. Then you pick second string and third string, all right? And you pick just first string, third fret. So after that you come to G. So here third fret, third fret, third fret, right? You're going to pick second string and top string together. Pick third string, fourth string, alright? And just pick first string on third fret. So from C. Go to G, go back to C and do this. So here you're picking 2nd string and 5th string together. Pick 3rd string, 4th string, alright? Then just 1st string by itself, open. And then you come over here. So this is again your C major chord on that higher position bar chord. Right, and but you just need all right. So these are you know relative to the nut, not relative to the capo. You've got tenth fret and tenth fret on first two strings, and eleventh fret on third string. So you're just going to pick third string, you can do a little finger roll over here, right? On third string, second string, and first string, right? So let's play that ending once again. All right. So that is it. That is how you play Can't Have Falling In Love by Elvis Presley, a fingerstyle arrangement for the song. I hope you liked this lesson. It's actually quite an easy arrangement to learn uh, compared to some of my other arrangements. So it's, it's really good for practice. Make sure you check out more fingerstyle arrangement lessons on my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for all the support, all the feedback, all the likes, all the comments. It really means a lot to me. 
I'll see you guys next time with another lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.